Today, in our wireless world, communications is ever more important in our lives and learning about these technologies is best achieved with a hands-on approach in the lab. There are so many topics to cover and so little lab time that efficient and easy to use equipment is essential. I need a unit that allows my students to put together experiments quickly and easily to get the understanding that they need. Now, from Imona, the maker of TIMS, the best university level telecommunications teaching system used by leading universities around the world, comes the Imona Datex Telecoms Trainer Board for the popular NILVIS. Datex, which stands for Digital Analog Telecommunications Experimenter, is designed for college and technical high school level. With fully documented course material and capable of delivering an entire introductory telecommunications course to first and second year university students. Using the integrated suite of instruments available on NI Elvis, the NI Elvis Datex bundle is a fully self-contained experiment platform where the 12 NI Elvis instruments can supply the stimulus and measure the response of many varied experiments. Take a look at the extensive list of experiments possible with an NI Elvis Datex bundle. It's an entire introductory course with over 30 individual experiments. Just as LabVIEW has a graphical block approach to programming, Datex has a block diagram approach to building telecommunications experiments. All telecommunication theory can be described by math. For example, here we see the equation for QPSK. In telecommunications textbooks, this math can be represented as a block diagram. The student brings this theory and block diagram to life by patching together real electronic circuits following precisely the block diagram on the Datex. Each block in the diagram has an equivalent circuit block in Datex. You will recognize simple mathematical functions such as adder, multiplier, phase shifter, filters, microphone input, headphone output, these blocks are easy to understand and use. This outer block has two inputs on the left, one output on the right, and variable gain for each input. The phase shifter block has one input on the left and one output on the right with variable phase control. An important block is the master signals, which contains synchronized quadrature carriers, various digital clocks, and a message signal. In the leftmost blocks, we have access to various NI Elvis instruments, such as digital inputs and outputs, a function generator, dual analog inputs for signal acquisition and analog outputs from the DACs, for use with the arbitrary waveform generator and Bode analyzer instruments, as well as variable DC signals. Let us now manipulate a few simple signals. We will firstly add a DC signal to a 2 kHz sinusoid by patching a 2 kHz message signal into the adder. Now we patch the variable DC signal into the other input of the adder and view the output while varying the DC level and the gain controls. This time we will multiply two signals. Let us patch a 2 kHz sinusoid into the input of the multiplier and a 100 kHz sinusoid into the other input and then view the output of this multiplication. This output signal is the product of two sinusoids and you will also recognize this signal as a DSB waveform. If we now replace the input to the multiplier connected to the 2 kHz sinusoid with the output from the adder we previously patched together and view the output from the multiplier while we vary the adder gains, you will see a familiar signal known to you as amplitude modulation, which is expressed as this simple equation. In this simple example, we've seen how the math of telecommunication can be modelled using several Datex blocks. Let's now look at a few other examples. Here is the block diagram for BPSK. Here it is patched together on Datex. And here are some signals viewed on the NI Elvis scope. 
Using the Dynamic Signal Analyzer instrument on NIELVIS, we can also view the spectrum. Here is the block diagram for sampling. Here it is patched together on Datex. And here are some signals viewed on the NIELVIS scope. Here is the block diagram for PC encoding and decoding. Here it is patched together on Datex using a speech signal as input. And here are some signals, output signals, viewed on the NIELVIS scope. Note that students are controlling and studying the interaction of real electrical signals, not just simulations, and their measurements allow them to make comparisons with the math and the theory. In the same way that NIELVIS can be switched from manual to PC-based control, the Datex can also be switched from manual control to PC-based control via this switch. As students become familiar with Datex experiments and controls, they select the switch, launch the Datex soft front panel in LabVIEW, and all Datex controls are operated from the soft front panel in LabVIEW. This is a convenient introduction to virtual instrumentation and control. Students familiar with LabVIEW programming can also control Datex from their LabVIEW code using the low-level Datex VIs supplied on the software CD. In this example, we place the VI for the tunable low-pass filter into a simple loop, and on the scope we view the signals from the Datex as the program executes. An easy introduction to hardware in the loop systems. Students and teachers can easily create their own more complex systems using the VIs provided. The NILVIS Datex bundle provides a variety of levels of operation for users making it a highly versatile and adaptive teaching environment which suits the hands-on beginner through to the more advanced LabVIEW based control experiments. The Datex kit includes the Datex board, 2mm patching leads, 2mm to BNC scope leads, a paper copy of both lab manual and the user manual, and a CD containing all required software and manual. The NILVIS Datex bundle is now available ex-stock from your local NI branch and from the online NI website.